Thank you. Yeah, Savannah's about a four-hour drive, but about 200 years away from here. <laughs> My name's David Meredith. I'm CEO of Music Intelligence Solutions and formerly Senior Vice President of VeriSign. I joined the company because I agreed with New York Times Magazine when they reported that we have the boldest and brightest invention in the world, or one of the boldest and brightest in the world. At Music Intelligence, we're democratizing the music industry by making sure that no great song goes unheard again. The industry problem that we solve is a huge promotional barrier facing artists and record labels today. There are 12 million artists on the web, growing about 15% per year, over 100 million songs. This creates a tremendous barrier that even the most talented artists have difficulty breaking through. This is why 98% of songwriters fail financially. Compounding the issue is that the old model is broken in the music industry. Tower Records, where I grew up buying records, has gone out of business. Virgin Megastore, gone out of business. Physical distribution has imploded. No one's buying CDs anymore. Because of that, the record labels are pulling back on their investment in marketing and promotion for new artists. There's a $15 billion global revenue stream at risk. And as Pete Kite said today, the old model of managing by gut feel doesn't work anymore. We have a proven and patent-approved solution to this problem that's very unique in the industry. Hit Song Science is an artificial intelligence system that can analyze every song ever made in all languages and all genres, and we can analyze the potential of that song to be a commercial success. A very well-documented success story is Nora Jones. We analyzed Nora Jones' first album, Come Away With Me, and she had eight songs that scored with very high hit potential. Now, this was unusual because at the time, there were no artists that were successful that had a sound like Nora Jones. She was pulling from jazz and pop to create a new sound, but the underlying patterns of her music were very strong. Nora won eight Grammy Awards and was awarded Album of the Year that year. Today, new artists that have high hit potential and have great new music can get recognized by our Platinum and Gold Audio Award program, which record labels and other people in the industry recognize as being a stamp of approval. So being able to identify hit potential solves half the problem. We also have to help the artists and labels with promotion and distribution. So we have targeted contextual promotion uh, interactive Web 2.0 tools that are integrated with every major social network on the planet, integrated with the iPhone uh, App Store, uh, and pretty much anywhere a potential music fan could be, up to 480 million potential music fans. We can also market the artist to 12,000 record labels. And we have a digital retail distribution network of 600 digital retailers, including iTunes, Amazon, and most wireless carriers on the planet. Unlike most music companies, we have a pretty clear revenue model, which is based on premium fees. Artists can trial the service with two freemium songs. So they upload two songs to the website, they can get their analysis, they get their promotion on the two songs, and then we upgrade them to a premium subscription. We charge $90 for a premium subscription, and that lasts for six months. We auto-renew the artist at the end of six months, so it's a recurring revenue stream. We make additional uh, commerce revenue through music sales. We have buy buttons on all of our applications, and we get a piece of each transaction. We also get money potentially through uh, sync deals, putting music in film, TV, and ads. Finally, the platform is also built to support software as a service, and we can have business-to-business -business revenue, similar to a deal we just signed uh, where we're helping a service launch in most of the Middle Eastern, African, and South Asian countries. We were the only provider that could actually analyze music in that part of the world to provide what they needed. The industry has validated our solution through lots of positive media. Uh, leading outlets like The Economist, Harvard Business School did a full case study that uh, validated what we do and is still one of the more frequently taught at schools around the world. Just this week, NPR Morning Edition did a national feature art, uh, story on our company. And we had a primetime network TV documentary that ran for an hour. 
All of this has combined to help our Google search rank results put us at the very top for relevant keywords like hit song. We launched the site uplaya.com three and a half months ago and we've had tremendous traction. In that time we've had over uh, artists and labels from over 170 countries come to the site and they've uploaded over 30,000 songs. We just signed a deal with MTV, so we're going to continue the growth with a strategy of co-branded marketing and affiliate deals. Think, uh, our deal with MTV is a talent search, so think uh, American Idol on the web. And this helps us to get additional promotion for our artists, in this case on MTV News. It also validates our rating system and helps us get more new subscribers. The financial opportunity, now that we've launched the service, we've got traction. We're raising $2.5 million to fund global expansion to get to cash flow positive in the second half of 2010. We have a break even point at 15,000 premium subscribers out of 12 million addressable market. Our, eight, our 2013 revenue is forecast to be $83 million and uh, based on very recent comps, a valuation of $300 million. As one of our premium artists said, I'm in. You're changing the world, not just the music. Congratulations. Thank you.